welcome back to my channel. Um, now we're going to do, or I would like to talk about some of my favorites for the month of July. Things that I have um, tried out and I liked, or I didn't like. I know this is a few weeks late, but I wanted to make sure I really tested these products and so I could really give you a, this is absolutely my favorite product. Okay, so starting off um, with moisturizer, I have been using this Gold Bond Radiance Renewal a few times. I really do like it. It doesn't make my skin oily, doesn't make my makeup fall off. Um, I've been using it day and night. This little tube has lasted me a really long time. Um, I, I don't know, I think I got it in an Ipsy or a Birch box, but I've been using it for a while and I really do like it and it has lasted me a while. So that, if you haven't tried it out, is Gold Bond Ultimate Hydrating Cream Radiance Renewal. And it seems to make my skin look better, for the most part. I, I mean, I just started using moisturizers, so, um, because I've had oily skin all my life, didn't think I needed it, but it does make a difference. I do like this one a lot. Alright, um, going on to primers, um, yeah, well, actually, let's, let's go back, so take a step back. I've been using this Glam Glow, um, Gentle Bubbles Cleanser. I didn't think I was going to like it. I got it in a boxy charm a few months ago, and you guys probably have seen me talk to talk about it before, but I do really like this. This is an amazing. It does great on taking off your makeup. Um, it does amazing at just cleansing your face. I didn't think that it did a difference for me until I looked at some of my previous videos, and it does make a difference. It has cleared up my skin. I, Granted, right now I'm having a breakout, but I mean, women understand sometimes your skin just gets a little irritated during certain times of the month. Um, but I really do like this, and it's a really great product. Um, so I do recommend that. Um, okay, so let's go on to primers. Um, so my current favorite primer, and I don't know why I've lost the cap to it. <laughs> is this No Pore Bloom Prime Primer. Just this one. It's the pore filling one. I think I've pretty well, I don't know, looks like I'm about a third of the way through the bottle. Um, I do like this a lot. Um, granted, I haven't been putting on makeup, well, probably the month of July is when I've put on the most of my makeup, but I really like this primer. This is amazing. I got it in a boxy charm. Super glad, super happy that they got it. A close second is probably the Prime Essence, but for me, this one doesn't. This one does the pore filling, and I do have large pores, so this one um, is nice when I'm wearing a BB cream and I just want a light primer. But this one is amazing for full coverage when you want that flawless looking skin. I like it a lot. Concealer. Okay, my favorite concealer, and I've almost used it all up, and I'm gonna be sad when I do. So, I, yeah, is this uh, Instant Age Rewind um, Eraser Dark Circles. I love how brightening it is under my eyes. I love how easy it is to apply. The only thing I dislike is how gross the cap gets. I mean, I don't know if you can see that, but it looks really gross. Um, but it's because of the sponge ball. Um, okay, so back to, back to um, foundation. This one is my favorite. It's the Fit Me, Maybelline Fit Me. Matte poreless, normal to oily skin foundation. Oh, well, you I'm gonna it. just kill my <laughs> mirror. Um, mine is in the color 115, which is ivory. I really okay. love this. Um, and and I mean, it looks looks light, but it actually is darker on your skin. Um, even for summer skin, this looks great. It makes me look like I have airbrushed finished. It's great. I love it. It's amazing. Okay. Um, so that's foundation. Now powder. Um, I have been kind of fond of my Cover FX Perfector palette. Um, the finishing powder in here. However, um, I just got in, in my last boxy charm this Becca powder. I've only used it once, but I actually really like it. But I have used the finishing powder in here a lot, and so that would be my favorite for the month of July. Um, I have a good dent in that one. Wait, what? 
the finishing powder. There is a dent. Good grief. So that would be my current favorite powder. Now for brows, as you've all been seeing, I have tried out a couple of different things, but this, this is my favorite. It's the Salon Perfect um, Brow Defining Palette. It has four different colors in here. It comes with a little brush. I don't use the little brush. I use a little spoolie. It came with a little spoolie as well. I got this in a Walmart box. So you can purchase this at Walmart. I don't know how much it is, um, but I just use it with one of these little brushes. It has the spoolie on one end and the... But I do like it, and I found that both the the dark shade and this like medium brown shade work well for my eyebrows. Oh, it's in there. It also came with a wax, brow wax, but I don't use that very often. Um, I think I've used it once. It came with a brow wax, but I don't use that. So anyway, all right. So on to eye primers. I don't use eyeshadow primer. This is my eyeshadow primer. I got this from Ulta a while back. It's just a collection of different um, concealers and color correctors. Um, I really like the peach color corrector and the lighter concealer for both my eyeshadow. That's what I, I use. It's just one of those little palettes that you get from Ulta. Nothing special, but that's what I like to use, and I will probably continue using it. All right, um, let's move on. Eyeshadow palette. Now I got a couple of those that I like. So number one would have to be my Tarte Bu Naturally eyeshadow palette. I love this palette. I use it quite often. Even if I'm using other eyeshadows, I will use this with it. Like I've used it, you'll, you've noticed I used it in my Butter London um, one. I used it today for my Ace Beauties. Um, I, I just really love this palette. It's amazing. Now, another palette that I really enjoy is the Fest Pure Festival palette. There's somebody outside. <laughs> it's the neighbors. <laughs> the Pure Festival. It is the neighbors. And this one's really pretty as well. I like all of the fun colors. This is the one that I did, um, what was the color? The Passion Pink video that I did on here. This is the palette I used to. I almost said yours, but it's the same palette you used in yours, too. So... I could have used yours too. Anyway, so that is my favorite eyeshadows um, currently. Uh, I am trying out some other ones. I will po post some other tutorials using. I have my Urban Decay Naked 3. I'm using the Revolution Death by Chocolate. Um, I'm going to do uh, the Supernatural palette again. See if I can make that work. You've seen that in the Kids Pick My Makeup. I'm gonna try that one again because I don't feel like that eyeshadow came out very well. That eyeshadow look. Um, eyelashes. My fa current favorite eyelashes are the ones I'm wearing today. And they are uh, by Kiss. They're Kiss brand. Um, they're Demi Wispies. I really do like these ones. They seem more easy to apply. They're easier to um, wear. They look more natural looking. They're easier to wear with my glasses. Um, I'm not using wearing my glasses obviously right now, but um, when I wear my glasses, they're they're better. Um, now, I do want to talk. Take a minute because I don't want to go into too much detail on the eyelashes because I've just recently started wearing eyelashes. But I want to talk about eyelash glue. Um, and this is the I Envy strip eyelash adhesive um, I am not sure where I got it I think I got it with a set of my eyelashes but this is like a holographic glue so when you put it on you know when it's time to apply when it's tacky because this will turn clear I really like clear? that yeah it turns clear it goes on holographic do you see how it's like holographic in the tube wow. and then 
um, when it's ready to apply and it's tacky, it will go clear. And so then you know it's time to put it on. I like that. I do have clear and I do have black, but that that's my current favorite lash glue. Because I feel like it's a no-brainer. It's, you know, when it's done and it's ready to go on. All right. Um, so moving on to blushes and bronzers. All right. So again, I am a fan of this cover FX uh, face perfector palette. I like it. I love the brightener in it. I love the contour in it. The highlighters are a little bit, uh, they don't really fit me. The blush in here is okay. I'm not a fan of pink blushes, but I do love this palette for the most part. Um, however, for blush, that's my go-to palette. I like this palette a lot. Um, I love all of the colors. They all look stunning, beautiful. Um, you've seen that I wore them today. Um, I am testing out my Tarte blushes, my Amazonian clay brushes, 12 hour. Um, this one is in Quirky. This one's one i kind of been liking. But if I had to choose one, this would be the one I would take with me anywhere. I like it. It gives me choices. Very pretty. Alright, um, going back to the eyes though, for eyeliner. This... <laughs> Okay, so I wear liquid and most times, today I'm not, but most times I wear liquid eyeliner and pencil eyeliner because I wear a pencil in the lower. Anyway, um, so I've been testing out two, well, I've been testing out a lot of eyeliners, um, but my current favorites are, this one is Liquid Coal and it's Seraphine, Seraphine, that's the brand. And it's called Liquid Coal. It's a waterproof liquid liner. It's a felt tip. I mean, which is okay with me. It does a really thin line. Very pointed. I like it for the top lash line. Very be beautiful. Very dark. Very pretty. Um, my lower lash line. This is my favorite currently. It's Pixie Eyeliner. It's Endless Silky Eye Pen is what it's called. I love it. This is so black does not budge once it sets. Love it, love it, love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Did I mention that I love it? Yes. Okay. Um, did I mention a few times I love it? Yes. Okay. Um, all right, so let's move on to... What do we want to talk about now, guys? Uh, we did blush, oh, bronzer. I told you I mentioned I liked that bronzer in there, but there is also another bronzer I actually quite like. Um, and it's this Tanned Roar from Clean Color. Um, grab that. Uh, Tanned Roar from Clean Color. And if you are familiar with Shop Miss A, you used to be able to get it on there. Can't get it on there. Uh, I looked on the Clean Color website. I didn't see it on there. But I really like this one. I have this one in, this one's just the matte bronzer um, in the shade Tahiti Matte. I love this one. It's so pretty. And it lasts forever because I've had this one forever. It's not too dark, not too crazy. really like it. Um, I also have that same one. I think it's the same one. Yep. I've got it in the shimmer as well. So it's got a little shimmer to it, so when I want a bronzy glue, it's very nice. Um, I just pulled these out of my um, makeup kit to try out. However, I do have this one from Pretty, Vul Pretty Vulgar Cosmetics um, in Sunkiss Snitch, I think is what it's called. Um, and this one's okay. I'm still trying to get it to work right for me because it comes out too dark. Um, but I mean, it's decent. Not my, not my favorite, but again, um, it might just take me a few more times to try it out. If not, then I may have to declutter it. But I am really liking the Tandra from Clean Color. And they were a dollar on Clean Color, so if you can find it, it's not an expensive bronzer at all. 
Um, we did talk about powder a little bit. Um, I do have this e.l.f. Prime and Stay finishing powder that I have been using as well. Um, it's just smooth powder, um, translucent, very nice. Um, it's great for setting your foundation. Um, when I'm not using the cover effects, I'll use this one. So those are great. Um, highlighters. <clears throat> as I said before, I like to use the brightener. Like, that's what I use today, so I have, like, this intense glow today in the cover effects. But I am kind of liking this, um, highlight from Artist Couture. It's the Summer Haze one. Um, the only thing I dislike about it is it's so messy. So messy. It's so powdery. But I do like how it pretty it is. And it works really good. It did boost. Um, it works really great as an eyeshadow as well, so I really like this one a lot as well. It has, it's versatile. It's It's got a versatility. Um, so those are the things I've been testing out um, as far as that goes. Um, let's see. Lipsticks. Oh, mascaras. Mascaras. So I haven't really been testing out too many mascaras lately. Um, so I'd have to say my favorite would be this one. Five minutes left before my battery dies. Um, would be the Better Than Sex from Too Faced. I do like this one a lot. Um, I just got the Tarte Big Ego that kind of seems a little bit similar. So we'll, uh, I only used it once, so I don't know, but I will let you know. Um, um, okay, so lipsticks. I have lots of lipsticks I love. Um, I will tell you straight out. I am a matte lipstick girl. If you've got a, if it's a matte lipstick, I will be all over it. My current it. favorite is, I have the NYX Lingerie, which I didn't know this was supposed to be matte, but it goes really matte. Um, and this is in Lipley. Lipley, I think is what it's called. Yep, Lipley 105. So that one's a really good one. Um, Another one that I really like, I can't find it right now, um, I do like the Ofra um, Long Lasting Lipsticks, and I can't find mine right now to show you. This one um, is the Tartist Tart Delish. I do like this one because I keep it in my purse with me all the time, so it's quite nice. Um, and it smells like chocolate. I love it. Um, and today I'm currently using the e.l.f. Uh, Touch of Nude, so I do like that one as well, as far as the lipstick. I, I usually go with the liquid lips. Now that I can tell, maybe. You have a glare. Alright, <laughs> um, lip liners, I have not found a lip liner I currently am enjoying. Oh, eyeliner. The one that I'm having issues getting to work is the one I actually used today because I was trying to try it out again and trying to... Uh, it works great as a lip liner. Uh, this is the Apil Gel Liner Deep Taupe. However, there is one I don't like even more than this one. And let me see. I don't know if I have it out or if I switched it. I may have switched it. Anyway, it's the Bodyography um, lip, lip er, eyeliner pencil in emerald. That one just tugs terribly on my eyes. I really dislike it a lot. Um, the Steve Laurent, I had a little bit of an issue trying to get it to smooth out, but we'll see. It says it's supposed to last for seven hours, so we'll see how it works. I just barely tried that one out today, so I can't really give you a yay or nay on it so well, what do you think of it so far oh i just i've only had it on for like 15 minutes so all right um finishing spray i have a couple of finishing sprays my current favorite is this um natural finish from wet n wild i like that one a lot works well keeps everything on i don't ever have to i don't even have to respray it if i don't want to so that one's great. Um, as far as makeup application tools, um, I, my current... Now, okay, I shouldn't say my current. My only 
beauty sponge that I have really kind of even remotely liked are these ones. Um, my purple one just didn't do nothing. It just absorbed everything I tried to use it with. So it, they're the minis, they're Ulta, this one's wet, this one's not. Um, it's somewhere in there. Anyway, um, these are really good and they're really quite affordable. Will you sit down? You're quite affordable. Um, they're from Ulta, they're just the Ulta brand. Um, and they're just the Ulta mini sponges, you get two of them. They are cute and adorable. Kind of a pain in the butt to clean, but um, they are fun to use, and and they're the only ones that I've tried that haven't absorbed everything off my face or took things off my face. Um, however, I will always be a brush girl when it comes to putting on foundations and things. My current favorite um, set are my Jessup Kabuki brushes. I have five of the big ones and five of the little ones in my current set, in the current rotation. And I do like these. I only have two out right now, but I do love these. They blend really well. Um, my foundations, they, I mean, it makes it so I don't have to use as much foundation because I just put it on here, put it on my face. It works really well. That's one of my favorites. Um, Luxie brushes, I will, I have so many of these. Um, they are, a great investment if you can afford to buy them. However, they are expensive. How expensive? Quite expensive. I love um, but with that being said, they are a great investment. They work great. They're easy to clean. Um, I have had no problems with mine. However, I did not purchase mine. I got them. Ooh, I'm gonna throw that one away. Uh, I got mine in a in all of my Luxy brushes. I've gotten in subscription boxes. So. Thank goodness for subscription boxes, because I can tell you, they're were well worth purchasing just for the brushes themselves, if you only got the brushes. Um, I have an e.l.f. brush set that I really like. My black ones are great. Um, I also have my Coastal Scents that you'll see me use quite often. I have a purple set and a white set. These were actually quite nice. But again, they're kind of expensive. Both sets that I have are $50 um, for the whole set, which I mean, you get quite a few brushes. But again, I did not pay for those. I used um, points from my subscription boxes to get them. Um, so all the more reason to sign up for your, um, your subscription boxes. Um, the ones, the brushes that I do have, or that I did purchase myself, that are decent, um, you'll see me use some, and when I do use them, they're not labeled. I'll just say like a flat brush, like this one here. Um, they're not labeled, they're not a brand name, they're just some I got off of, uh, Amazon, I think your dad got them from, for, um, yeah, Amazon is where he got them from. Um, and they are great. I mean, it was just a cheap set. They work fine for concealers and things like that. I have had no problems with them. Um, another favorite tool of mine is my mirror. And I will show you what it does. This is, so it bends up, it folds up, it has a light, it has a magnif- this is the normal side and then it has a magnification side. Um, this is, yeah, this is my favorite mirror. I use this one quite often. Um, you may see me once in a while use one of these. And they're okay too, I just got them cheap from the dollar store. Um, but this one's my favorite. And it comes in a bag, it came in a bag, so the, I keep it in the bag. A little velvet bag. Alright, um, makeup removers. I like my cellular water. I think I have a little bottle of it in here. This one is the Marcel. Marcel. Three in one micellular water. I also have the. I can't even think of the brand now. Anyway, I have another bottle that's bigger of this. 
but I do also make my own. Um, and if you want to check out that uh, recipe for that, go to my blog, it's on there. Um, so I will make my own uh, makeup remover occasionally. And I, I love the makeup eraser. That's the washcloth I use. Um, that's amazing. It's not technically a washcloth, but I do like that. It is $20, so it is kind of pricey, but it works amazing and it takes off every single thing you can think of and it doesn't damage your face. So I love that. Um, give me a second here, because we're going... I know, I'm kind of going off. Oh, uh, Elemis, I do like this um, face mask. It's one of my favorites as well. So, um, Garnier, Fruities. This is my favorite leave-in conditioner. I actually put this on my hair dry, and then... Um, We'll comb it through and then I'll straighten my hair and it works amazing. I have really dry hair. Um, it just, yeah, it goes nuts. Um, and my hair just eats this up and it's amazing. You're, I read somewhere that you're supposed to put conditioner in when your hair is dry because the cuticles absorb it better. It has helped a lot. I've also been using this um, well-being treatments Lux leave-in mask for your hair so um, those are my favorites guys uh, comment down below if you liked any of these things or if you didn't like anything if these things didn't work for you um, and I'll see you next week next month with new favorites possibly or or what I decluttered or what I don't even own anymore because it didn't work for me bye guys <laughs>